How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Dex. And today I built a Sump Worker deck in Ionia with Ari. Now, a new patch dropped recently, and there's a bunch of cards that have been changed, a bunch of cards that have been buffed, and one of those cards is Children of the Forest. I've always thought that the idea of playing Sump Workers with recall cards is just a good combo because one of the biggest problems of Sump Workers is just that they tend to die very often. So when I saw that Children of the Forest got changed into a recall spell, and it also is just a way to summon three Sump Workers on its own. I knew it was time to give it a shot. Ionia Sump Workers with Ari. This is definitely a bit of a weird deck. There's a lot going on here. I'm still sort of experimenting. So there's a lot of two ofs, a lot of one ofs. We've got Boom Baboon in here because he gives us Flame Chompers. And if we attack with Ari and Flame Chompers, we essentially get to pull something in and just hit it with Ari, right? Because Ari will swap with Flame Chompers. Flame Chompers will go back to our hand and then Ari hits it for two. And pretty much every other unit in this deck is just designed so that it's good if you attack with Ari and recall it. Reggie, obviously good to just keep getting six plus cost spells over and over and over again. Temple Caretaker, the most insane two drop in the game right now. If you recall this, you literally just print mana. Portal Pioneer, a very, very cheap way to just keep getting Explorer spells with Ari over and over and over and over again. And of course, Evil K. Now, as far as actually duplicating Sump Workers goes, besides Evil K, uh, our only options are basically just like black flame type cards, cards that create ephemeral copies, unless you use Ari to recall them. See, the cool thing here is if we trap Sump Worker in the black flame and then we attack with only Ari, because the new Sump Worker from the black flame goes on the right side of Ari, she will just recall the Sump Worker and it goes from ephemeral to permanent because it goes back into our hand. Then we would just play that permanent Sump Worker. The next time we attack, it combines with the one from the black flame and we just get permanent sump workers from then on. Now, in today's video, I did have one copy of patched Horobot in the deck because I do have a thing on stream where viewers can choose one card to force me to put in my deck, and that was the card they forced me to put in this one. I'd recommend replacing it with God Willow. I didn't actually get a chance to try out God Willow in today's video because we had to play Horobot instead, but he will not be in the deck code down in the description below. It'll just be a copy of God Willow instead. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Without further ado, here's game one. All the Ari emotes? Okay, I only th I think I only have one Ari emote, and it's the KDA one. I might have... Z I know I have zero Ari emotes. Uh, Alright, thanks for the channel points numbers. <laughs> cha -ching. I did, in fact, add all my Ari emotes to this deck. There you go. Poro, okay. This is a Poro. This is a Poro. Thank you, Thurtle. <laughs> Thank you for the channel points. I did, in fact, uh, equip a Poro. You're welcome. There you go. I'll throw a little extra one in the emotes just for you. I got you. I got you. Put a Poro in. What? <laughs> Tell me there's a good Poro. Please. I, this is our best one. This is our best Poro. This is actually kind of genius with Ari, because every time you recall it, it gets a new keyword. That's kind of big brain. We could just pretend that I put this in here because I thought of that. Thanks, numbers, actually. Appreciate that. Okay, Kane Aatrox. I don't like that very much. I do like this hand very much, though. I think we just keep it. I think we keep the whole hand. We could have maybe thrown a recall back to the deck, but I don't mind having a recall. I'll keep it. Uh, I think we go Sump Worker, Black Flame, recall the Sump Worker from the Black Flame. And then we're off to the races. <laughs> Pinocchio Porocho. <laughs> he became a real Poro. It's so true. There he is! Oh no, he's still, he's definitely still a robot, dude. He's got that augment. Although, mo everyone that has augment is half human, half robot. So does that mean he's half human, half Poro? Half robot? <laughs> He's half everything. That's what he is. <laughs> He's half all of the things at the same time. You picked... I really did pick the cyborg. Oh, now he... Wait, now he's a, a challenger, Poro. He's feeling challenging today. Just like the flame droppers. What a silly... Dude, he's got a sense of humor. What a silly little guy, huh? He saw the flame droppers in hand. He was like, hey. <laughs> you know what keyword that card has? <laughs> Let me, let me show you. Uh, what, is, what does the Poro have to say today? That's right, little buddy. You better believe it, we're elusive abusers. He's so smart. <laughs> he's, he's learning to talk. Next thing you know it, he'll be writing essays. 
He's, he really is. He's just a silly little goofy little guy. Look at the spring. Look at his little, like, wobbly walking. You can just tell, you know? He likes to goof around. And I'm glad that I, in my <laughs> great and, <laughs> and extensive wisdom of this game, decided that Porobot would, in fact, be a perfect fit for this deck. Honestly, I, I gotta pat myself on the back for that one. It was a great choice. This is this is the moment when he looks at my deck again and he's like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm playing against sump workers right now. Oh. <laughs> uh, if I could find Ari here, that would be hype. Maybe I, I honestly, I should have played the elusive Poro. I don't know what I was doing. Now he's mad. <laughs> he's furious at me that I didn't play him. I'm sorry. I messed up. I made a mistake, okay? Please, forgive me. It was a mistake. It was an honest mistake. Alright? Anyone could have made that mistake. I don't, I don't know what to play here, honestly. I guess, like, destroying equipment's probably good. We'll just go for that. What is, what is this? Dark and Aegis. Yeah, let's, um... Let's just Ixnay on the Aegis. Shall we? I think we shall. I, know, I, I guess there's no real reason to attack with the Black Flame yet, so... We'll just chill on that. This this is a little ooh. Let's let's ixnay on that one. <laughs> I don't. I do not want to have to deal with Solani. If there's one thing I know for sure, I do not want to have to deal with Solani. Cool. Okay. And so now the goal is, I think we just chomp lock with this. We recall mid combat, and then we destroy this equipment. This is insane, actually. Just recalling this over and over and over again the entire game to stall is pretty funny. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. It is pretty funny. And I mean, hey, if you want to spend a furious wielder on this, then go ahead. Yeah, that's right, Porobot. Imagine, dude. Ah, oh, if only he had Overwhelm. It's true. It's so true. Because if he had Overwhelm here, then he'd, have, he'd obviously hit for four. All right, bro. Bro is furious, just like my Poro was. Mere moments ago. I mean, I guess we'll just boom baboon. Could Porobot. I kind of want to send the Porobot out to war. He is now Warobot. <laughs> Go get him, little buddy. You got this. Overwhelm them. I believe in you. This is a Poro of many emotions. It's true. I mean, he's... He's practically human. It does... It really does feel like he's a real Poro. A real human Poro. <laughs> The, the fairy... No! No! Alright. We are going to make this man's life the most unbearable... Ooh. Oh! We are going to... We are going to throw this man into the flames. This man does not deserve to, to live any longer. After the brutal murder of our beloved Porobot. It, it means, this means war. Indeed. That's what happens when the fairy tale ends. I'm sorry. Sorry to break, sorry to break the illusion that you were living in a fairy tale. Not anymore, buddy. There's no more fairy tale. Okay. If there's one thing I know for certain, we have to play Sunken Temple this turn. I'm going to skip this block. Boom, boom, boom. Sunken Temple. That's the plan. I feel like, honestly, the way we have built this deck, it was very much built around Ari, and the fact that I don't have Ari at the moment is, is looking pretty bad for us. The fact that we're turn 7 and I don't have a single Sump Worker is, like, concerning, is it not? <laughs> There, there might have been some slight design flaws with the way we built things that we might have to uh, reconsider here. I'm not, I'm not sure that I'm perfectly comfortable with the way things are going at the moment. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't scam your viewers out of their points. What do you mean? I would never do that. These are baseless accusations being thrown at me that honestly have no moral standing at all. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I do that? Me? Scam my viewers out of their channel points? That doesn't sound like me. Well, 
Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Ari. I'm gonna Flame Chompers, I think. For zero mana. Could updraft Flame Chompers. I think we'll updraft Caustic Riff. And then we might recall this and play it again to updraft whatever we draw next. I just, like, I'm not finding any of the combos I need to find to have sump workers. And if I don't have sump workers, I don't win. <laughs> so we're in a weird situation at the moment. Caustic Rift's going to do nothing. Okay, miss I keep drawing Mystic Shock, which is not a bad card, but it's not what I need. <laughs> Maybe I should cut it. I guess we're cutting Mystic Shock, guys. This L brought to you by Mystic Shot. Who knew it was this bad? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to recall. What do we want to give Vulnerable? I don't know what to give Vulnerable. What, why is why is Aatrox side-eyeing me? Wait, what in the world? <laughs> Wait, huh? Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> uh, okay, that makes me uncomfortable. Somehow more uncomfortable than regular Aatrox, which already made me uncomfortable. I guess we just pull the knights in. I don't know. I'll updraft the flame chompers. I need to find a sump worker. That's not a sump worker. All right, man. I wish my burdens were lighter. I wish someone poured a lighter on my burdens. And lit them into a flame. And then chomped them. That would be epic if someone did that. Why Aatrox pulling a ghost face on us? I know, he just, he looks, he looks like he's got an entirely different emotion. <laughs> Much like the Porobot. Maybe he's, this is, he, is, he just doesn't know how to feel about the Porobot being gone. And he knows that it's his fault. <laughs> uh, it's not a statue, actually, it's a robot. Common misconception, but I agree. If you could, if you could stop butchering my robots, that'd be great. There, he was just a young Poro. He had only been a real human Poro for one moment, and you killed him immediately. This is just this is just sad. This is just not even close to how this game was supposed to go. All right, recall, stun, chump. What is happening? <laughs> Why is this card ghost facing me? <laughs> what? I, I wait. I never even noticed there was a face on the card back. What in the world is happening? Why is it so big? <laughs> Default card. It's like it's like the, uh, the like the Moai face. What in the world? Why was it there? I have never seen. All right, it's go time, baby. This is it. This is the moment we have been waiting for. Do, okay, we have a Stomp Worker. Do we put him in the Black Flame? I'm going to start off the Called Shot. Dang it. Didn't immediately top deck Parallel Convergence. Literally rigged. Actually rigged game. Uh, World Ender is 9 mana. Okay, so he's playing World Ender this turn. This is Olani. This is Draw. This is still <laughs> side... Wait, is he going to side eye me when he levels up too? <laughs> not going to look as weird because like his whole face will probably be in frame, but <laughs> I am curious if it's just like going to be permanently bugged now. That'd be hilarious. It's such a bad play, but please, you want me to lose? It's such a bad play, but please do it. Those are the words you just typed in my chat. It's not a loss if we flex our might or if we showcase our charm. Or if we get to work. I'm just I'm just saying the name. I'm just saying the names of the cards that are on my screen. In case you're wondering what I was doing, that was actually kind of clever. I was saying the names of the cards that were there. It's like the names of them. It was pretty cool. Alright. Alright, dude. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright, man. Well, I need to get rid of Dancing Droplet. Dancing Droplet needs to be cut from the... Dancing Droplet was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ari. <laughs> Least insane visionary RNG. It's so true. It's so true, dude. Play Sump before ending round? Yeah, I think that's our last play. I don't think we play both Dancing Droplets. I don't think we Black Flame either, but maybe we do. 
The thing is, if I Black Flame and then I top deck Parallel Convergence, that's not good for us at all. We we don't we can't we can't play another one here. Just one is enough, which means maybe we need to play less Black Flame. Did somebody say least insane visionary RNG? <laughs> Were those the words that somebody happened to <laughs> to type in my chat? <laughs> Wait, we might win. It is it is a very real possibility that I just win right now. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to recall. We need to. I'm going to recall this. I'm going to recall this. I was going to save it to recall his unit. I probably should have. Because if he strikes, we could potentially hit lethal by... I I, I think we're going to hit more than lethal here. I think we're fine. I'm going to draw one. We're going to level Janna before we play Parallel Convergence. I am a huntress. I am Least insane visionary RNG. <laughs> what in the world? Ah. Uh, Okay. Okay. So how do we play? What's the best way to play this? I think the best way to play this is not to play this Sump Worker until after Convergence. Because what happens when I play Convergence? I'm going to have three Sump Workers. I'm going to have one from this, one from Convergence, and one from this. This Sump Worker and the Ephemeral one are going to combine. So I'll have two Ephemeral Sump Workers attacking for like five damage each. Then I play this and it hits for five again. Or I could play this now. These combine now. And then I have one from Black Flame, one from Parallel Convergence, and this one stays back row. I can. I think it's I think it's better not to play this one now. Am I correct in saying that? I think I'm correct in saying that. Also, wait, the synergy. What in the world? I forgot Ari and Janna actually have synergy. They work so well together. Ari just leveled my Jan. That's kind of exciting. Okay, I'm going to updraft this just to draw one. I swear if it's the same coin. Oh. See, now if it's this, now if it's Evil and Perfectionist, what I could do is I could shuffle parallel. And if I top deck from recalling Droplet with the... We could do this twice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> Call me Geral right now because the one thing I want to know is do you see? I see. I see. That's for sure. And I ain't talking about no Slurpee. Now, here's okay, here's the thing. I think we have to get rid of Evil K on our board. I want only elusives. Because if Aatrox heals, we could lose. So we play this. I think. Is it this or is it this? I don't know which one it is. Oh, no, I can't. Because I won't have enough mana now. It has to be the Sump Worker. It's fine. I think... I think... We have the win. No matter what he does... All I need to do is make sure the attack order is correct. Do I put Ari first? Because the ephemeral ones are going to get recalled, right? Which goes back to my hand. They reduce cost by one. I think I want to go like this. And then bring them back. And now we do this. And already recalls everything, right? Which is good. Is that good? No, that's bad. Because I want Sump Worker to hit for slightly more damage. So we go like this. Yes. And now we... I almost just locked in my attack. That would have been terrible. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Now we go for this. And then we have a slight chance. The reason I saved one mana is we have a slight chance of top decking one more parallel. And even if we don't, we recall this Sump Worker and it becomes one mana so we can replay it if we don't find a parallel. This is insane. We win. We literally win the game. This game looked so bad, but look at us now. Oh. That's... Oh, wait, she I wait, she was ephemeral. Yeah, that's uh Okay, that's not how I thought that was. I recalled Eye of the Storm. <laughs> I got Eye of the Storm from recalling Janna. That was not what I meant to do. Also, wait, what? 
<laughs> we got him, baby. We got him. What in the world? All right, that was a weird game, but it was worth it. What? I actually love this deck. What in the world? This is my new favorite deck. Uh, there's uh, there's the boy, the poor robot. I mean, he's he's gonna die. Is he not? We can't send him out to fight Bilgewater as uh, no no no. We gotta we gotta save him. We gotta keep him safe. We gotta tuck him back in the deck. He's not gonna survive in these harsh conditions. Run away. Run away, little poor robot. <laughs> this is not this is not a safe place for you. Don't mull I didn't guys, I didn't kill him. Okay, I know this is a difficult concept to understand, but just because he's on he's not on the screen anymore does not mean he's gone. It's just I I I hid him. It's like I just it's like I just shoved him in the closet. I mean that sounds this sounds a little rough. I did I I it's like I hit him in a bush. It's like I tucked him under a nice little comfortable blanket. Is what I did. Basically. I just protected him. That's all I did. Even worse than no, he's still we own him. He's in my deck. It's not like I disowned him or just like made him run away. He's 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 taking shelter. Danger Cause look at this. Danger. There's danger. Danger pays. And who does it pay? Danger. <laughs> danger pays danger. <laughs> See, look at that. It's another danger. What did I tell you? Danger pays danger. Where there's one danger, there's sure to be another. As everyone knows. I'll pass. I think we let the dancing droplet trade here and we recall the sump worker, unless I am mistaken. Or he lets me play my sunken temple for free. Or Ari. Let's play Ari. That was a huge mistake. That was such a massive mistake to pass there. I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing, but that was not the move at all, <laughs> ever. <laughs> that was not smart. Bro, bro watched Alan ZQ one time, <laughs> and he was like, "Ooh, you know what I get to do here? <laughs> I get to hit the shiny blue button." Oh, uh, what's up, Winnie? How's it going? I'm doing well. What meme cuisine are we cooking today? Oh, I isn't it obvious? Is it not obvious? Do you not smell the sump in the air? Do you not do you not hear the Ming Mings reverberating through the, the, the echoing tunnels of Zon? The sump the sump workers are minging. And they are minging. And they are minging some more. <laughs> they are what I'm trying to say is they're doing a lot of minging. There's a lot of Ming Mings. I I almost feel like just Alan ZQing myself here. Do I just do I just <laughs> Do I just Giga Chad pass back on three mana and burn it just because I can? What do I do? Like, genuinely, what do I... Okay, am I gonna need Octo Adventurer? I feel like the answer is no. Let's updraft this and draw one. Recall all replay again? No, we always save... Re we always save recall as a counter. We never we never proactively use recall. Always as a counter. Especially when, especially when he has um challengers. We always use recall as a counter. I'll just end round. I, we're, we're doing fantastic right now. Um... If I can just duplicate this sump worker, which it's just now occurring to me, I might need more ways to duplicate sump workers. If I can just duplicate this sump worker, we are, uh, we're gaming. Not another step. Uh, I'll go for the one mana recall. Reason being, I want to guarantee we get a return from this. Like, I, I don't want him to counter my retreat by playing, like, the toss drain spell, for instance. I'm just going to play the landmark here. I think the sooner we get the landmark down, the better. I'm fishing right now for either another sump worker or black flame. That's the goal. I could have maybe recalled my own sump worker and then shuffled it, but I want to, I think I want to wait. <laughs> I think I want to wait for him to pull in the sump worker. I don't know why he didn't pull it in. Landmark dot. What if he picked heal? Maybe he picked heal. Maybe he picked heal. <laughs> maybe, maybe he picked heal. I don't know. Maybe he just picked heal. Some people do that. Some people are just like, nah, you know what? 
My Nexus is at 15 HP. Surely heal is the best option here. <laughs> All right. So this is exactly the hand I wanted to see. We have Black Flame. Sump Worker's in there now. He doesn't have Destroy Landmark. He has three from deep, which is concerning. Maokai is still like halfway away from level, so it's pretty good. I'm going to play Dancing Droplet for sure. because Oh, I should have played Janna first because it would have helped her level. Dang it. Let's Janna now. Um, I just want to keep both recalls open, potentially. I'm not going to play both of them, but it's just a good idea not to updraft those because I might rather play this. Or I might rather play this. I don't know which one yet. I'll make the decision on that later. We'll drop Ari, obviously. And we'll either recall the Sump Worker or we'll recall this. I kind of like drawing more, I think. Or we'll recall neither. <laughs> that's what he... Dude, there is no way that's what he picked. And he's going to play it on Ari. He knows I'm playing Sump Workers. And he's like, no, you know what? You know what I really need to disable? You know what keyword I really need to get rid of? Quick attack. I mean, like, to be fair, he did kind of ruin this attack for me, but I don't know if that was the move. I really don't know if that was the move. This is a, this is a strange, this is a strange game. Also, I've played against this guy before. I've played against this guy, and it was this exact same deck. <laughs> this is like the only deck this guy plays. <laughs> I, I think I played against him yesterday. I think it was just yesterday I, he was playing this. And here he is again. You know, he knows what he likes. Giga Chad Maokai Gamer. No Nautilus needed. He doesn't play deep. He simply plays Maokai. <laughs> Alright, I mean, this is not ideal. So of, course, of course, he's full attacking here. Oh, man. These are... This is terrible. Away with you. This is garbage. I have to. I, I think I have to block with Dancing Droplet. I have plenty of draw. I honestly don't even know that Dancing Droplet is a, is the greatest card in this deck. It's fine. <laughs> That's what. Okay. He just bro. Bro just watery graved himself. Bro just wateried his own grave. That's insane. Maokai in hand. Yeah. If Maokai's in hand, we're in big trouble because then I just insta lose. Should I wait to play this until Maokai? I probably should wait to play this until Maokai obliterates my deck. Because then, like, worst case scenario, at least I get a guaranteed parallel. Uh, let's play Reggie, I guess. See what we can get. If I if I can draw now with Formula, that would have been great. Unfortunately, I cannot. I'll go Shock Blast, I guess. Auto lose to the obliterate deck spell? That's true. Yeah, unless I top deck Evil K. So maybe I should have played this now to see if I could find Evil K. If he plays Maokai, I just have to play this immediately and see if I top deck Evil K. He's about to play Maokai, isn't he? He's leveling Maokai and he's playing Maokai. I wish I had a way to... Oh, he's... Okay, he doesn't have Maokai. This turn. So we're fine this turn. Do I play Cauld Shot? I feel like we have to wait on the called shot, right? We have to wait. We have got to wait on the called shot. I'm, I'm going to maybe look to do like a shock blast to this turn to kill his lifesteal because it is going to be an issue and something else. This is not going to kill Maokai. It's never killing Maokai. I'd more likely kill Maokai with death mark, I guess. Dude, this guy just hates Ari. <laughs> what is happening? What is going on? <laughs> what? I'm gonna. Hear I'm gonna hear my heartbeats. I'm gonna recall Reggie, and I'm just gonna see if we can find a formula, because I think we do need to like draw as much as we can before Maokai just. Okay, I could go. I could go with two boring spells, or I could go with a little unknown. That is maybe the worst possible thing I could have gotten. That's insane. Okay. I'll play Boom Baboon. Uh, my hand size is still the exact same, so that's kind of pog. He's trying to nerf Ari. 
Oh, wait, I see what he's doing. I forgot it, it works two turns. So she still has no quick attack. She's too slow. <laughs> Ironically. I don't think she meant to talk about herself when she said that, but she, that's what she did. Uh, okay. I mean, I can attack with one sump worker here, so that's kind of pog. Can I level Janna? I can't level Janna. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually could level Janna. I actually could. I'm just gonna play sump worker. I think I don't think we go for Janna on our attack here, do we? Odds are like he probably just top decked a Maokai. That's not a Maokai. Okay, I'll I'll recall. Obviously, I'm gonna play the one that's not discounted because I want to save the discounted recalls for when Janna's on board. We can actually we can ab. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to draw as much as we possibly can right now. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Janna. I'm gonna draft this. And I'm gonna updraft this. We need to play Dancing Droplet. Draw, draw. Okay, can we let Boom Boom die here? I think we can let Boom Boom die. If he if he was gonna kill Reggie, I would probably have saved Reggie. But I think we let Boom Boom die. There's so many ways we could play this. I, it's just like, what do we want? Do I want to recall this? I could like recall Ari. Recall Dancing Droplet with Ari. I think that's the play. I'm going to play Dancing Droplet before anything else. I don't think we're playing the Sump Worker. I'm going to recall Ari. And then I guess we just play Ari. <laughs> and then Ari recalls the Ephemeral Sump Worker. That's pretty good. We, we actually, like, this is a decent attack. I would say this is decent. Is this is this the best attack, though? Because I might just die next turn now. I think I'd... Would I rather... Oh, I think I misplayed. I think I'd rather just Sump Worker, so at least the Dreg Dredgers dies. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's Ari. What the heck? Let's level a little. Let's Ari. I gotta. I can't recall Reggie here as much as I wish I could. I definitely can't recall Reggie. Okay, I mean, this is pretty good. Nine damage. That's not the worst. Boom. Draw. Concussive Palm. Okay, I mean, that'd be great if I had it in hand next turn. Oh, and then I gotta replay this. That's better than I thought. Okay. So we're probably not dead on open attack then. As long as I can top deck this again, then I think we're okay. And then it's just, uh, you, you know, just surviving Maokai. That can't be too hard. It actually is not hard. I literally just need one evil K. And we got two. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy has no clue what he's about to go up against. He better hope he can hit lethal with actual damage here. Because that's the only way he's going to win this. Wait, can he hit lethal? He might have lethal. You shall not assail them. My tempest shields I, don't, I, I don't know if I can go this low. Can I go this low? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to recall this guy. I will let his life steal strike. Because I'd rather kill it and win the long game than lose the short game. We can absolutely play the long game now that we have double evil K. I just, I'm counting on him playing Maokai this turn, which he has to play Maokai this turn. I'm killing two things. Maokai's leveled. There's three cards left in his deck. If he has not drawn a Maokai yet, then he's just insanely unlucky, is what he is. We need to shuffle after he plays Maokai, shuffle evil Ks into our deck, and then we just shuffle whatever we want every turn, and we go infinite. So what's like the most nothing burger play of them all? It's just play this guy, right? Play your Maokai. Do it. Get him out of your hand. I I know you're getting hungry for dinner, man. I know that dinner win con is, is around the corner. There he is. Let, that's right. I mean, that's how you are going to win. You got to play him. You got to just play him. Might as well. So you can win. Or so he thinks. 
Alright, yeah, this is uh this is pretty good. Just shuffle some shuffle some K. No more K, actually. Now. Now I'm evil K. And now every time I attack, I just recall K and shuffle more stuff. And he never wins. From obliterating my deck, at least. <laughs> that's not gonna be his win con here, that's for sure. Um Yeah, it's, I mean that's pretty good. Is that enough for one turn? I do feel like maybe we drop one other card. Maybe I retreat something. Override landmark. No, you know what? We just end round. There's literally zero reason to override landmark here. I don't see a great reason to play any other cards. We're just going to chill. I'd rather just get the discounts. Why not just discount my entire hand this turn? Uh, yeah, this, this is nice. <laughs> this is pretty nice. I have to say, this is a pretty nice looking hand. Oh yeah, and then we still have that one random hex tech anomaly. That's cool. I could literally just have, like, the most RNG... <laughs> the most RNG of all time. This is so funny. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with one Sump Worker. We'll just wait and see what he does. This level's Janna. I think we replace Dancing Droplet with... Maybe we'll just recall Dancing Droplet, but I think I, I think I do want to attack with as many Sump Workers as possible. I want to save Recall. Oh, he's going to destroy the temple. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. He's learned, hasn't he? He's learned. Print zero cost K. Let's, let's print zero cost K. This will give us zero cost because she reduces by one. And now my entire deck is just print. <laughs> so he could never mill me. This is so funny, man. This is hilarious. And we could print X deck anomaly. And then we just get like random insane cards every single turn. Bro. You have... If he loses... Okay, he absolutely deserves to lose the game at this point. <laughs> I do not... I will not feel bad in the slightest if he loses this game. At this point, he is, he has walked right into it. This guy not real. He really he really is not real. It's true. He really isn't real. He really isn't real. I mean, I guess we just play all of our K's. I think we we're going to be overflowing with cards. There is no reason not to just get the maximum value we can possibly get. Um, I guess we probably recall Ari here. So that she can, in fact, attack. And we probably just hit lethal. Like, as cool as it is, as it would be to just, like, live out the rest of our life in this game. I think we do... I think we do just hit lethal here. Shock Blast is probably the best pick. But Formula... <laughs> An awesome day for progress. Formula, though. Guys, we could draw more evil case. Oh, I should have picked Shock Blast. What did I do? I just threw the game. I actually just threw the game. What did I do? Uh, yeah, no, this is probably fine. We'll just top deck like double sump work or we'll win off of that, right? Nope. Okay. The only issue here is he does have one elusive blocker at the moment. Can we stop that at all? We technically could. I'm going to play... Uh, how much damage am I pushing? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12... That is exact lethal. Bro's getting hungry for dinner. I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. That dinner win con is, is approaching so soon. I think we go for this. I'm going to go for this. I think we should have lethal. I'm not going to do anything too crazy here. I definitely misplayed. I should have picked shock blast because we would have just won. We should still have lethal no matter how he chooses to block, but... I think, uh... Also, maybe... Oh, no. 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 I... I... Okay. I should have attacked with one stump worker to the left of Ari. I made a mistake. I misplayed. I did misplay. I made a big misplay. <laughs> I made a, made a 
pretty big misplay, actually. Um, that's all right. No, no, that's fine. Look how much value I have. I have so much value. We'll just, uh, Reggie into fast speed deal one to Nexus. Okay, actually, I think what I need to do is I need to print this. <laughs> just so I can have something that's fast speed next turn and then we strike. <laughs> Not to die. <laughs> I think I think my man is about to lose to four mana condemn in Ionia PNZ. I think that's the, the play. And then we maybe play this this turn just to kill Maokai. So he doesn't summon another sap. <laughs> we got him, baby. Let's go. Another victim of the dinner wind god. You love to see it. GG's, baby. GG's. It's just, you know, it is unfortunate that I just have so many options in this deck. It's just so hard to choose, like, what my next play is. And then we just win. Uh, alright. Do we keep Dancing Droplet here? I'm gonna say no. I think we want Black Flame. And we want a Mulligan for some path to victory. I don't think Dancing Droplet is enough of a path to victory. This deck wins by mentally exhausting the enemy. I mean, isn't that just... <laughs> I feel... Oh! <gasps> Dude. It's it's the Poro. It's Porochio. Porochino himself. <laughs> He's feeling fearsome today. He's feeling scary. Little Porobot jump scare. <laughs> yeah, he says, fear me. <laughs> About to about to strike fear into the heart of Volibear. The little Porobot. The little Porobot that could. <laughs> it's mentally exhausting to watch. How do you think it feels to play, guys? Come on. This is this is why I'm taking five minutes for every one card. Right? There's so many options. I'm a pioneer, just like I am with almost every deck I build. No one else ha is out here to teach me how to play this deck. I have to learn for myself. He's mad you tossed him in the closet last game. No, he wasn't furious. He was scary. He was fearsome. Now he's now he's feeling overwhelming. I I, I think I think overwhelm means like he wants me to play him. Like, get me out of this hand. <laughs> that's that's just I don't know. That's the vibe I get from him. I know that's not like what the word means, but it's just like it's just I feel like I I feel like I've developed a relationship with this Poro, you know? I feel like I understand him better than most people. Honestly, do I just... He's about to pull this in. Do I just Black Flame this? And I just keep hitting him with Flash Bombs every turn? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty funny, is it not? This is... This is, like... Kind of worth... I don't see any Sump Workers at the moment. Let's just hit it. I, I do, like... I kind of regret that I only have, um... Two Black Flames in the deck. I want to see what this feels like, though. Honestly, like... Playing a Caitlyn deck... Just all in Caitlyn, and the goal is, like, you play Black Flame on Sting Officer. Kind of nice. Or Black Flame Caitlyn. And you just play another Caitlyn on board. And then you have two Caitlyns attacking every turn. I actually, I never even realized that about Black Flame. Black Flame is just, like, one of the cheapest, easiest ways to, to duplicate champions. It's kind of, it's kind of good. Alright, he's, um, <laughs> he's ready to steal some life. Let's go. I think what I'll do, I'll just play, I'm not, I'm sorry, buddy, listen. I know he wants me to play him, he's he's ready to get out there in the battlefield, but it's not time. I need a, I need to draw. I'm just going to draw. It's not, it's not quite time. It's not time to play him yet. I can tell. Uh, I'm going to open swing here. I still, I don't know how, I, it probably was not correct to throw this guy in Black Flame. The reason he's in here is so he can attack safely and activate black flame right like now who's gonna attack to activate him i guess oh i should have recalled him here i should have recalled him i really should have i guess we can recall this now throw another flame choppers back in the deck draw something is streaming your main job uh no it's not a job i would not call streaming a job at the moment uh my main i i edit videos that's my main job I'm a video editor, which is partially why I make my own videos, because that's what I already do. <laughs> All right, listen. 
I know, I know I get tilted at people doing this, but come on, man. I have... This is the slowest player I have played against all week. What's happening? Is he, is he like, is he eating dinner? Right? That's actually insane. That's five head. He's eating dinner during the game so that we can't hit the dinner win con. There is no dinner win con if dinner's happening right now. If he eats dinner and plays at the same time, he just deleted the dinner win con from existence. There's no way. Is he AFK? There's no... Okay, he's not. If he was if he was just straight up gone here, that just would have been... That would have been strange. Alright, listen. I hate that I have to do this, but it must be done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to... I have to... I have to put him back where he belongs. <laughs> Get back in the closet. Get back in there. It's nap time buddy you're it's it's this is it's too dangerous the world is too dangerous for the poor robot to survive i can't just send him out to die i can't perhaps, they just need a little push. perhaps he just needs a little push into the closet perhaps that's what he needs he wants a little push onto the battlefield but i won't let him have that it's just it's just he would die immediately I mean, I see no reason not to block here. This is this is honestly like the least threatening Volibear deck I've ever played against. It is turn five. I feel like I'm going a little bit slow at the moment. We do need to pick up the pace. It probably honestly it was it was just a dumb idea to play Black Flame on something that's not Stump Workers. I feel like this deck does still need like a little bit of rethinking as far as how we create. All right. All right, dude. Thanks for the extra draw. That actually feels really good. I have to say that feels nice. I have never had the privilege of recalling a card that updrafts period. I think this is the first time I've done it. Look how much value I have all of a sudden. <laughs> it's insane. All right. I play a little Reggie. What's up, Reggie? What do you got for me? Singular Will is actually not bad here. Singular Will ain't too shabby. It's an awesome day for progress. It's an awesome day for progress. Omen Hawk is annoying here because I was hoping we could plant more flash bombs, but Omen Hawk's gonna gonna say no to that. I think we updraft Boomba Boom. Boomba Boom might have been worth keeping just for the fact that he creates another card in hand, so I could have played Boomba Boom. -ba -boom recall Janna like the next time he tries to kill Janna and then I'd have flame chompers so there'd be like a free target to updraft again there was there was some value there potentially I don't know I think we're still chilling I think I'm happy just full swinging with everything here including Reggie it's not worth it though nah I can't attack with Reggie I wish I could he'll he'll absolutely take the trade with Reggie if I let him Reggie's too important. I need I need to save Reggie. <laughs> Mostly because he's going to challenge Volibear. We need to save Reggie for the big guy. We need to make sure Reggie doesn't just die to a bird. <laughs> I'm not going to send Reggie to the penguin exhibit. Just let him get pecked to death. That's not happening. How much text Omen Hawk has? I know, it's so... <laughs> ain't, ain't got any text now. That's better. Honestly, dude, my eyes. What a relief. My eyes were burning. All right. So this is a very good hand, first of all. Sus pass, but like he has a ramp deck. He's got something good to play. Is it like a board wipe? It's probably a board wipe. Let's Sunken Temple. Sunken Temple is the safest possible thing I can play. Does he have lit? Okay. Well. Like, that wasn't that bad, right? That wasn't that bad. I could have played Evil K and a Sump Worker, and then he just board wipes with, like, the deal four to everything. Okay, maybe I'll retreat Reggie here. 
Just see if we can, like, get some cards. I feel like I'm running out of cards at the moment, which is not great. We'll look for, like, a giant, um... Giant spell off of Reggie. I'll pass. We'll go to the next turn. Could have summoned a, a sump worker, but it, that was a little weird. He... Unrelenting is right, dude. Unfreaking relenting. Let's just open swing. It's a pretty underwhelming turn eight swing, but I'm doing the best I can, okay? I'm doing the best I can. I'm sure, he's probably just gonna pass again. Oh. Okay. Otherwise, be silent. So we'll recall Janna again. And then I guess it's time for Reggie's big showdown. Go get him, buddy. You got this. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. I'm just going to let him do his thing. Could play Sand Blue Line for more chump blockers. That might be better, actually. I like Formula a lot. I like Hextech. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Hextech Anomaly. Hextech Anomaly Vengeance. Cause that's We'll throw Hextech back in the deck, probably. I'm pretty sure Poro Bot has Fury right now. <laughs> nah, nah. He he doesn't. I remember what he has. He has tough. He's a tough guy. Wait, that's so sad. He he had tough before I shoved him in the closet. He was trying to prove to me that he was tough enough to face the real world, and I still said no. No. <laughs> Look at him. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, little guy. I. I made a mistake. I should never have shoved you in the closet. I'm sorry. You were tough. You were the toughest of all. You were the toughest of all of us. This is not the way it should have gone. Watch your toes. You watch your toes, Reggie. Why, watch, why am I watching my toes, Reggie? I'm not the one fighting a 50-foot lightning bear. You watch your toes. He's going to cook your toes. Make him immortal? I mean... Oh, that's unlucky. It's too late. I, w I was going to. For the record, I was gonna probably do that, but then I didn't. But I was gonna probably do that, though. I was probably going to. Eventually. Uh, okay. I mean, we could print Somp Workers here. I almost feel like it's better to just print Hextech Anomaly. Am I wrong? It's like better to print Hextech Anomaly or better to print Singular Will. Might be Singular Will, I think. Because Singular Will is going to cause a lot of problems for him. The only issue is it's also going to cause problems for me by recalling this. I still think Singular Will is better to print than Sump Workers. I'm going to go for it. I think if we want to survive, at, we're at turn 10. I need to play something more than just like tiny 2 HP units. Fingers crossed he didn't pick Landmark Destruction twice. Let's go. I thought he healed early game. I knew it. Wait. Storm unrelenting. Okay, that was a lot of mana for him to just, like, legitimately pass on. That's insane, actually. Also, wait. Is this just permanently stuck? Oh. That's really weird. That's so strange. Because of Sunken Temple, this never changes. So this is just permanently stuck as make something immortal. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> what are we if not Ming? Great question. I don't know. What 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 are we? <laughs> Ming Ming Ming. <laughs> That's what we are. Uh Janna's gonna level up. So that's cool. We have a six mana singular will. I think the goal is to play singular will this turn 100%. The only issue with singular will is he gets to play Volibear again. So I better really, like, I have to wait till he has a full board to play this. Updraft made it permanent? Yeah. Yeah, it's because it's getting updrafted before the round starts. And so then once it's drawn, it's already missed transform me at round start to a random spell. Pretty missed that. 
I mean, I kind of feel like passing here would be a good idea, but also he just burnt like 11 mana last turn. So if he's still doing that, then I'm going to play Sump Workers and flip them. He might just be holding like a board wipe. I don't know what's happening. I have no clue. All I know is he passed on like 10 mana last turn. So if he passed on 10 mana last... Okay, I can save Evil K here. Or some... <laughs> this is... Wait. And then I recall. <laughs> Wait, this is... This is pretty nice, actually. I mean, rest in peace, Janna, but this is actually... That was pretty good. He's not happy about that one. You can tell. You can tell that one does not make him too happy right there. Okay. So. Boom. Hit for seven. He, the problem with this is he plays Volibear next turn and both of these units die. Like I have kind of just backed myself into a corner here. This is really not the greatest. <laughs> this is why I did not want to main deck Singular Will is because, like, the decks I would want to play Singular Will against, a lot of the times, just giving them a unit back in hand is not always going to work. I mean, we do 7 damage this turn. That's something. Glad that Porobot is not in hand. True. I told you, I, dude, I told you that the real world was, was too dangerous for him. And no one wanted to believe me. Everybody thought I was being too protective. He would have been obliterated. Literally obliterated. No exaggeration. Obliterated. Didn't we also just do 7 damage if we attacked? Yes, but then he'd have 2 units on board. Uh, so he's probably going to play She Who Wanders here. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that is pretty bad for us. Okay. Hmm. So all we gotta do is just do seven more damage. That's not that hard. It's not that hard to do. I've seen harder things to do. I could I could singular will next turn and recall this guy back and get another stun. So we can still like jungle cards and survive for a little bit longer. I think the main issue here is I didn't print Somp Workers. Evil K, who was supposed to be in my hand still, got obliterated. I have one copy of Sump Workers in the deck. And now I have no Black Flame. Dang. <laughs> Glad to see I'm only top decking the best cards of all time. Wait, you... I thought you couldn't pick landmarks. You can pick landmarks? That's so good. That's so good. What in the world? Okay, boom. Done. He's He is locked into only playing one unit per turn. Wait, but the, but the stun gets shuffled back into my deck. That's so bad. So when he plays She Who Wanders again... Or Volibear. Oh, now Volibear's just gonna hit my Nexus. Dude, there's no way to win. I uh, I truly have just backed myself into a corner here. This is actually kind of terrible. Yeah, the bear the bear smashes our face now. This is not great. He's gonna play the bear. 100 percent And I can't even like oh. Okay. The problem here is, like, I can't play Concussive Palm this turn. Because then he plays She Who Wanders. But I can't... <laughs> I can't even play it next turn to stop Aurelian Soul. Because Aurelian Soul has Spell Shield. 10 damage. So we're down to 2. And then we lose to Volibear. So I think I have to play Concussive Palm just to force him to play She Who Wanders. And then I'll still take 10 damage. Because I'll only be able to play one blocker. Unless I play Concussive Palm. And then next turn I top deck this. And then I play this again. I think this has to be the play. This is the only play I have. 
Singular Will next turn. Yeah. I have to play this now just so he can't play Volibear because otherwise I just lose to open attack, Volibear on face. Literally just one Volibear ping hitting face would, would kill me then. Do I have to do this just to force him not to play Volibear and play She Who Wanders instead? I'm probably going to top deck like all three Aries here and they all just get obliterated. So that's going to be great. <laughs> Can't wait for that. But as long as I top deck one singular will. There it is. And. Wait, this works on enemies. This works on enemies. This works with enemies. This summons three she who wanders. I have to wait till next turn. But if we top deck this again next turn. <laughs> It is going to be the single funniest moment in, like, this entire year for me. I don't know, man. That's going to be pretty good. Yet again, a seemingly un... I mean, okay, that's not, I would have expected him to play this. That's so good for me. That's even... That's great. That's wonderful. That was a... That was a... <laughs> that was the biggest misstep I've ever seen. See you later, Volibear. I mean, unless he's got another, like, one mana card to play. He had Brittle Steel that just got burnt. Dude, but even if he has Brittle Steel in hand, he can't play it. Because there's nothing to freeze. He needs to empty hand right now. There was... Okay, Volibear's gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, and I can recall She Who Wanders. Oh, but that's just going to be terrible for me, though. Okay, we play Ari 100%. Do we also play... We play Elusive Guy and we just win, basically, don't we? Do we play Elusive Guy here and just open swing? Because we know we still know he has She Who Wanders. I don't... Dude, I don't know what's better. Do we keep this in hand and just hope we top deck Children of the Forest again next turn and win with She Who Wanders? But I can't play it this turn. We know he has Freezes. That's also true. So Children of the Forest wouldn't even win. It's definitely better to just play this and force him to play freezes. Open attack. We'll do six. This is better. 100%. Then to like randomly hope I top deck a specific card. Called shots. Very good. Single. Oh, this is insane. Such good top decks. Such good top decks. If. I'm going to play this. Caustic. Dang it. If that did damage. Dude, if that did damage to Nexus. Okay, what do we do here? How do we win? 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 We have to open swing. There's no other option, right? I have no mystic shots. I used to run mystic shots in this deck, and I don't have them anymore. I think we played all of our Reggies. How do we hit one extra damage? There's no way to hit it. I, I don't see a reason to play Black Flame here. I don't see it being better than just hitting for six. Let's hit for six. If he wants to double freeze, that's good for me. Let's go. Okay, that's fantastic. That is one turn he cannot play a soul or she who wanders. That was so good for me. That is fantastic. I can't believe he just did that. Okay. We might want to save something with Black Flame, but I it's not worth it. We pass. I need to top deck Singular Will again this turn. If I do not top deck Singular Will, I lose. I need to top deck Singular Will this turn. Let me see it. Oh, no. Please, one more card. Singular... Oh, no. We lost. We lost. I should have black... I should have black... I mean, it wouldn't have even mattered if I black flamed, because I would still have to top deck Singular Will to get the unit back out of black flame. He just plays She Who Wanders and wins. She who wins, dude. She who wins. Follow that for a reason. I mean, I guess I... No, there's there's no way to win. Dude. I actually had to play this singular will last turn. I should have played it. It was so... I should have played it because it would have given me so much more... No, it was smart. I misplayed. I If I played singular will last turn, Ari was safe. This was safe because they get shuffled back into my deck. And I just draw more this turn. And it would have recalled this guy.
So close, man. So close. GG's. That was a fun one. I should have hit Shen GG's before, before just leaving. My, dude, my mental after that game is just, it's done. That was, that was so, that was literally chess. I literally just played chess in LOR.